my name is Michaela, and I know I have done a video on essay tips before. Um, this is kind of like a sequel to that, I guess. Or these are lesser known tips, whichever way you want to think about it. But the general idea is I wanted to go through uh, two specific categories of essay writing. Uh, the content of the essay and the grammar of an essay. And go through tips that at least I myself, I feel like I don't hear about or see as often, but are very important um, things to implement or to avoid in your essays. And hopefully if you do these and follow these, it'll improve your writing. And um, they can be a little bit specific at times, but that's kind of the point is that these are things that like you don't hear people telling you all the time. So um, this is what I came up with. And I guess we'll start off with the grammar part of this. Number one is to try not to use parentheses in your essay. And the reason for this is you don't want it to look like an afterthought. Like everything in your essay should be important, I guess. I would just say try to make it as important as the other stuff. So it doesn't need to be in parentheses. It should just be like a comma or something. And then you say that thought. It just is distracting. This is something I was told in high school. So at least that's what that's what my teacher said. Maybe um, teachers might disagree with us. And you know, what? actually, by the way, I'm going to make this disclaimer right now that everything that I'm saying in this video is probably subjective. So if your teacher is telling you to do it another way, do it the way the teacher is telling you. If you don't agree with me, then do it the way you feel is right. Because I mean, I could easily be wrong here. And not to like, make, I'm not trying to like discredit what I'm saying here. But at the same time, also just be careful, I guess. Um, know when to implement these strategies and know when to not. Anyway, number two for grammar is don't repeat your words too often. Of course, this applies to maybe what you're writing about. If you're writing about the subject of love, you don't want to be saying love, 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 love throughout your entire essay. Um, but also, if you're saying this shows that or this theme shows, you don't want to be saying shows all the time. So try like demonstrate, exhibit, reveal, uh, clarifies, uh, elucidates. And then also another word I think that's overused is says or states when people are giving quotes. But instead you could do Rousseau, for example, argues, justifies, um, critiques, analyzes. Just um, switch up the, the word usage and even use a thesaurus while you're writing. Don't make it sound overly complex, obviously, but just to get some variety in there. Speaking of variety, use like sentence structure variety. So if, don't always do the same thing over and over again. Use semicolons, colons. Uh, use question marks and ask good rhetorical questions to lead your readers into what you're going to be talking about. However, do not use exclamation points. Never use an exclamation point in an essay. I cannot think of any reason that you would need to. It just looks very unprofessional. If you're discussing a text during your essay, always keep it present tense. It doesn't matter if this text was written in the 1300s. If you're talking about Odysseus in your essay, say Odysseus travels to Calypso's island. Don't say Odysseus traveled to Calypso's island. Literature is constant, um, is, I guess is the explanation for it. It doesn't ever like end or anything. Another tip is unless you're supposed to be relating your essay back to your own personal life, don't use first person. Never say I, we, us. Don't use any of those sorts of words. Going off of that, never say what you're about to do in the essay. So don't start off like this essay is about or I am going to show in this essay. I am going to prove. Again, extenuating circumstances, like for example, some lab reports for science might want you to say that. So obviously follow the instructions when they want you to. But for the most part, never say what you're going to be doing. Don't say in conclusion, um, you know, use other words such as like accordingly or due to this, uh, therefore, thus, that sort of thing. Likewise, like you don't want to say this essay is about, you also don't want to do it in the middle of the essay. Like you don't want to say this quote means that. Just always launch into your explanation. There's no need for that preamble. This is mostly my opinion, so a lot of people may disagree with me on this. But for the most part, don't use conjunctions instead of saying don't say do not isn't say is not. It just is a bit more formal in my opinion. And then finally this one I learned this last year from my power identity resistance professor and he told me not to use nominalizations which are essentially for example instead of saying the word um argues I would use the word argument or instead of uh clarifies I would say clarification. It makes it less clear to read when you're reading all these nouns so try to avoid the nominalizations and go for the verbs rather than the nouns. Okay that is it for the grammar part and now is content. First always analyze quotes that you put in. Don't just like slip it in and let readers figure it out. 
because it just seems like it just seems very random when you do that so always like tell what the quote signifies and how it pertains to your essay another thing that's important is to avoid broad claims that you can't prove so this means like let's say you're writing your hook for your essay don't say something like a symbolic idea found in autobiographical texts is because then even though this is interesting then you're kind of making this this thing that you'd have to also prove in your essay but that's a very difficult thing to prove okay this one is hard to balance but what you want to do when you use a quote is set up the context what i mean by this is don't give a whole summary Basically, assume that your reader is familiar with the text, but they're not experts, nor are they completely ignorant of the text. When discussing a quote, because I mentioned earlier you don't want to just stick it in, you want to analyze it, make sure that your analysis isn't just spitting back what the quote says. You need to be adding into it somehow, because just summarizing the quote isn't going to be worth the words in your essay. So make sure that you're somehow like interpreting it or showing how it ties in with something else. Be original in your essay. Don't be afraid to make up your own metaphors and analogies to elaborate on what you're talking about and to help the reader understand. Um, just be careful not to make it overly bizarre or to reference it too often or anything. Um, use it sparingly, but when useful. So one thing I think that we're told often is always focus on your transitions between paragraphs. But the thing is, is no one really talks about transitions between topics in between a paragraph. And I think it's important that when you are switching between these that you kind of set up to prepare the reader to switch topics by using phrases like in spite of this or despite this um similarly likewise um in this manner this way the reader recognizes that you're signifying that transition and it helps tie it back into the previous sentence that you were on okay and lastly this one's a little bit more specific too but if you're doing an essay that's based on a text or something and you're only supposed to be using that text for your essay it's tempting to go online and Google like ideas and interpretations um, to help you form your argument, but don't do that only because you might accidentally plagiarize or it's just not going to be your original work. Um, obviously, you have to often reference outside sources for research papers, but if you're just making an argumentative essay and only kind of basing it off that one book you read, just like try to avoid doing too much research online. It's only going to make it harder to um, separate your ideas from the ones that you've read. Okay, so that was all the content and I feel like I'm gonna think of a ton of things after I finish this video that I probably should have put in here, but that is all I have for right now. And I really hope that it's helpful. Thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your next essay.